Hey winners, welcome and welcome back to this channel. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified every single time that I upload a video. Now the reason why I'm going to keep on emphasising this going forward in all of my videos is because I have noticed that 86% of y'all that watch my videos aren't subscribed to this channel please subscribe it's free you're not charged a single dime not only does it also help me out because youtube will notice that a lot of people are subscribing and it will continue to push my content in the algorithm which as a black woman content creator is really really needed but you also benefit as well because that means that every single time that i upload especially if you hit the bell icon you'll be notified and you will not miss out on any of my videos going forward now today's video i've had my looks since 2011 and depending on the type of person that one is i personally feel that there are some people that stick to the products that they've used from day one and continue to use those the same products throughout their look journey and then are some people like myself where maybe if it's because your scalp or your hair no longer likes certain products you need to switch it up or maybe you get bored and you want to also see what other products are out there so that's why from time to time i believe probably like once every year or once every two three years i end up doing these kind of videos so if you don't know i've previously suffered from really severe dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis issues so due to that some of the products that i will be mentioning in this video obviously caters to the scalp issues that i previously had now at present my scalp seems to be very happy and my dandruff issues seem to be very very minor my seborrheic dermatitis seems to be kept at bay and fingers crossed we keep it that way okay so firstly we will start off with what i use to wash my hair so if you haven't already seen my video recently i basically was gifted the two products that i'm about to share with you from plant made so plant made are a black owned black woman owned uk based brand and they specialize in organic vegan science based products right so these are products that are not harmful to your hair whatsoever so they gifted me with their rain growth shampoo bar now the reason why this is a growth shampoo bar is because i believe july this year i was making contact sharing with y'all that due to stress my locks had started to thin out and plant made kindly had seen that video and decided to gift me with this product to obviously help with my scalp and obviously help to grow my hair right so i've only used this once and i will link the video here but honestly the one time that i used it which i believe at present of filming this may have been about two weeks ago it was such a pleasant experience so not only is it full of natural goodness so for example some of the products that it contains is green tea moringa moroccan lava and clay right let me see if i can show y'all how it looks permitting that it's not stuck to the thing i kind of don't want to take it out because i don't want it all over my hands but it's literally a shampoo bar right and it's green as you can see um but when you use this product to wash your hair it doesn't give you that dry everything from my hair and scalp has been stripped feeling it really makes your hair feel good and what i use this alongside is again plant maids nourish repair and moisturize conditioning bar again all natural goodness so it contains things like let's see avocado butter what else vitamin e pro vitamin b5 hibiscus lavender amongst many other things and this is how it looks like and again when this instantly touches your hair like your hair just feels so moisturized so soft like you're just really treating your hair to beautiful goodness and honestly even though i've used this once definitely want to keep on using these products together especially if i'm washing my hair at home obviously if i'm going to the lock salon to get my hair retwisted or whatever it may be i will just use whatever shampoo that they're using to wash my hair however one thing that i will always still continue to use from time to time is nezaral so nezaral is basically a dandruff medicated shampoo it looks like this 
So for those of y'all that maybe you have like bad dandruff issues or seborrheic dermatitis, what you do is you use whatever shampoo of your choice and after you've shampooed your hair once, twice, you go in with Nizaral. You just literally use a little bit on your scalp, leave it in for three to five minutes and wash it out. And with me, this, I will always say, is my holy grail. This will never change. When I was suffering with severe dandruff issues and seborrheic dermatitis, this product right here really, really helped and it really saved me. And this is something that I'm still using. So for those of you that have probably watched my previous uh, products that I used for my looks, you probably noticed that I've been using this for years and honestly hand on heart i don't really see that changing granted i'm probably not gonna use it every single time i wash my hair i believe the last lock wash video that i did i didn't use it but it is something that i would still continue to use from time to time just to keep the dandruff up babe now in regards to like you know moisturizing and sealing moisturize moisturization in english oh my gosh um heritage store rose water looks like this um i get it from amazon i've been using this for years it's one of my favorite rose waters ever i have used various rose waters in the past there was one stage when i used to just buy like random ones from like ebay or amazon or whatever it may be but nothing for me will top this one so yeah this is free of dyes and alcohol it's vegan i really love the like this spritzer right here like like it's just so beautiful it smells amazing it can also be used on your skin as well totally up to you what you want to use it for in terms of ingredients so it's got aqua it's got rosa damascena flower oil citronella granule and linalol listen my pronunciation is absolutely awful but with this I use it to spritz my locks. I can honestly say I use this quite a bit. So I find it very hard to answer the question of how many times a week do you spritz your hair winning because I don't really have a set amount. Sometimes it'll be like I'm getting ready to go out, I'm getting ready to, to, to go to work. I take my locks out of my hair bonnet and I just spritz it. I probably may even do it every day. I probably may do it five to six times a week. Only God knows, but I do use this product quite a bit. And what I do is back in the day, I used to put a couple drops of vitamin E oil and then, you know, shake it and then spritz my hair. I no longer use vitamin E oil, guys. But instead, what I do use is, again, plant made. Now, this video is not sponsored, by the way. I probably should have said this at the beginning. And, um, although these two products obviously were gifted to me, um, these two oils that I'm about to share with you all, I used my own money to purchase this. And one of the oils in particular, I have actually been using it for, I want to say about two years or maybe over two years now. So what I do is, I use Plant Maid's Inches Oil. Now this Inches Oil that they have, in case you haven't seen me talk about Plant Maid's Oil before. So the Inches Oil is... You use it to strengthen, grow, or mend your hair. So, for example, if maybe you have a little bit of a bold spot in your hair or certain parts of your hair are thinning, this basically has been made to help to resolve that issue. And I know it sounds wild, but the thing is, the reason why I started using this specific oil is because when I made videos talking about how my locks were thinning out, many of y'all reached out to me on Instagram and DM'd me and actually started sending me pictures of parts of your hair that may have been bolding or severely thinning. And after like three to eight months of using this product and mixing it with another oil that I'm about to show y'all, bold patch bold spot wear and it's absolutely flabbergasting how this product really works well for my hair so anyway what i do is i put a little bit of this inches oil into my rose heritage store give it a good shake and i just spritz my hair i've already spritzed my hair already which is why i'm not going to show y'all and it worked very very well together and then in regards to actual oils, I put in a little bit of oil on my actual scalp. So I use inches alongside Plant Maid's Roots Oil. 
Now, if you're an OG here, you know that with the Roots oil, like I said, I believe I've been using it for two years, maybe over two years now. Um, Roots oil is an oil that I started to use because when my seborrheic dermatitis and my dandruff issues really started to kick in, my scalp just wasn't taken nicely to any shape or form of oils or whatever or just going without oils it wasn't doing anything but when i started to use roots oil issues were no scalp irritation dandruff like severely decreased if not even disappeared it was amazing so what i now do nowadays is i mix these two together so i mix the roots oil and i mix the inches together um i either just pour it into my hand separately or I do this where I've basically mixed, already mixed those two into a very small kind of travel container, pour it to my hand, and then I just massage it into my scalp. And on average, I want to say on average, I probably do this maybe two to three times a week. It varies. Sometimes I may do it just before bed because I feel like it works very well when you use it and then put your hair bonnet on and then sleep and allow for it to work its magic throughout the night but sometimes i also do it during the day as well so yeah that's basically all of the products that i use for my hair i don't use any edge control personally earlier on this summer i think i did kind of jump into the whole edge control control thing i'm not gonna lie i did like how edge controlled look like visually it does look very appealing but in terms of my hair i just don't think it's beneficial for my hair i feel like with a lot of edge controls there's a lot of harmful ingredients and a lot of harmful products in it and also as somebody that has locks i don't really want to be using products that can potentially leave build up so at present i don't use edge control i just want to leave my hair my edges to just do its thing especially as somebody that was previously really stressing over the fact that my hair was thinning out i don't want to be using any products that could potentially be very harmful to my hair so basically that's all the products that i currently use for my locks i'm just very happy that if we're being honest all of them maybe minus um the nezeral i'm not too sure but basically all of the other products that i use for my hair are vegan they're natural they're organic and i've just noticed that the more kind of natural a product is the more effective it is for my hair and the more my the ha more happier that my hair and scalp feels but yeah let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful also let me know in the comment section below if you've made it this far what do you use like what products do you use for your hair that is your holy grail but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and until my next one take care be good